Well, welcome, Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans, back to Hoisington, Kansas, for the quarterfinal rounds of the Midwinter Classic, the Winter Jam, hosted by Hoisington High School here at the Hoisington Activity Center. We're ready for the boys' uh, action now to see this afternoon as they'll take on league foe the Russell Broncos. The Broncos are one and nine overall. There has not been a successful season at all for the Broncos so far. They've lost eight games in a row. The Lions are seven two overall and are currently ranked ninth in class 3A. I will have to wait and see if that Beloit loss will have any effect on that or not. Uh, the Broncos have been outscored by their opponents 560 to 327. The Lions have outscored their opponents 441 to 404. This would be the 38th game in the series between the two squads. Minneapolis leads it 29 to 8. We've won the last seven games in a row. And at the neutral, at neutral sites, such as in the uh, turn of a competition, Minneapolis leads the series 2-0. to oh. Winter jam history here for uh, the Lions in 2007 and 2008. We took sixth place both those years. We moved up to fifth place in 2009. 2010, we got third place. And last year, we beat the host Poisons and Cardinals in the championship game and got first place in the tournament for the first time. Minneapolis has won their last three non-Kansas State High School Activity Association tourneys in a row. So we take on again the foe of Russell just up the road here, or our league foe. Again, they've not had a successful season, one and nine so far, have lost eight games in a row. But uh, I tell you what, these boys better not come out and look down on the Broncos like apparently the Lady Lions did the Otis Bison Cardinals and they might get clipped. Clipped, that's right. Uh, Boysington has two six three boys in their lineup, the tallest, the sophomore and junior. And uh, their one game, their one win this year. The Broncos of Russell has been over Nickerson. So we'll have to after a 18 point uh, defeat at the hands of the Beloit Trojans last Friday night. Let's see if the Broncos can be a cure for the Lions on getting back into the swing of things. We will play the Broncos two more times in league competition coming up yet this season. Well, I see a nice three-point shot by Andrew. He's got a little extra elastic support on that left knee. The right ankle is the bad ankle, so he's starting to get a little dinged up. I think it might just be a little bit of the swelling from the favoring the bad ankle, but I saw the shot there from the outside, it looked good. Uh, so I think he gets squared up and both feet under him. He's gonna be shooting the ball well here tonight. I hope so. Well, the Lions do need a very good game here, a good outing against the Broncos to get the ship righted, get them looking positive on the season again. They are seven and two. It's not been a bad season by any means, but that 18 point loss at Beloit has to have hurt a little bit, I think. Just a minute and a half away from tip-off, Minneapolis and the league foe, Russell Broncos, in this Hoisington Classic. It's a 4.45 start, Minneapolis and Russell, and we're getting ready for the starting lineups. Farmer is a 5'9 senior. He'll be the point. And a 
if they lean back, I'd get their numbers, but right now I don't have their numbers. But here we go. For the Russell Broncos, Craig Farmer, number one, a 5'9 senior, will run the point. And he doesn't look like he's 5'9, but yeah, I'd say that's a fudge. For Minneapolis, at the point will be Josh Macy, number two, gets the start for Minneapolis. For Russell, 6'2", and a senior, number five, Jordan Hecker. Two guard for Minneapolis. Number three, Andrew Yoxel. And for Russell, number 10, Joel Bowden. He's 6'1", and a senior. Shooting guard for Minneapolis, number five, John Michael Darrow. For Russell, number 21, Austin Donovan. He's 6'3 and a sophomore. We'll get the start at the power forward. For Minneapolis, power forward, Alex Yoxel, number 30. 6'1 and a sophomore. For Russell, number 22, Brendan Walter, 6'3 and a senior. He's kind of grown up on us, hasn't he? Yep. Lost some weight, looks pretty good. Walter, 6'3", and a senior will match up against the post, Zach Allison. So it's Russell against Minneapolis. We've seen him this is the first time this, this year. Anyway, yep. we'll see him again twice, won't we? Yep. Which, as Dale mentioned, may help uh, both the boys, or not the girls perhaps, they're Pretty decent team with Bagley and a few of the others I recognize on there, but uh, we could write the ship here against the boys here tonight. As we get Josh Macy on the floor tonight, be a big positive to have Alex Johnson off the bench as a six man. That six man's got to score a lot, and that might be just the ticket for Alex to get in a groove here tonight. Minneapolis playing for the defense on this tip, and so is Russell. We're late on the jump, and easily Walter gets the tip. Now right wing, Walter has it. Bowden, now down low, and we steal it. Andrew we Yoxel think. got there his we hand got in there. Strip that away. Rourke. Excuse me, I'll get on the right. Donovan had it down low and we stripped it out of there. Now man-to-man -man defense by Russell. Macy on the left wing. Gets a pick from Allison. Dribble drive on the baseline, shut down. <coughs> Andrew Oxel gets a pick in the paint and he goes. Shot is up and he is fouled by Walter and that's Good to get a uh, good quick foul on Walter, the 6'3 senior. Andrew will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Just underway here, 445 start. Yoxel's first free throw up, back rim, no good. He was over the other night. We'll see if we can get him off the snide here in the with the second throw. Typically a 78, 80% free throw shooter. That one's no good also. Allison had the ball and lost it. Well, that's five in a row between the last two games. We've seen Andrew miss, that's pretty unusual. Now in the backcourt, Hecker gets it off to Donovan. Donovan, baseline drive, is shut down, kicks it back out front. Farmer. Tries to get in there, but can't. Macy with the good defense. Now a steal by Allison. Holds up, now gets it off to Alex Yoxel. Misses the little four footer out in front of the basket. The cold fronts come through and the Lions are feeling it so far. That's yeah, a lot cloudier in the <laughs> out there, a lot colder looking than it was when we arrived. 
6.30 to go in the first quarter, it's 0-0. Hecker, 6-2 senior, is going to play it in for Russell. We go to sleep, and they get, Walter gets an easy shot and misses it in close, and Minneapolis has the rebound. Darrow all the way in, shot no good. Allison tries to get it, tips it out of bounds. Zero, zero, 6-15 left in the first quarter. Donovan on the left wing looking inside. Five-second call. Closely guarded by Alex Yoxel, and Donovan couldn't get rid of it. Russell's going to take a 30-second timeout, though, and we'll take one, too. No score first quarter here at Hoisington. State Bank is proud to support the Minneapolis Lions for the 2011-2012 season. We're proud to be a part of our great community and strive for excellence in our school, curriculum, and athletics. Go Lions in the 11-12 season from Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Salina, Bennington, Minneapolis, Wamego, Sylvan Grove, and Lucas, member FDIC. Want the ultimate adrenaline rush? Jump from planes, repel from helicopters, shoot the most sophisticated weapons on Earth. Find out more by calling the U.S. Army at 785-827-3666. We're back underway here. Darrow with the ball. For Minneapolis, long three-pointer on its way. Bank shot. Good. Three to nothing, Minneapolis. I heard Ethan call glass. We're going to count it. 3 nothing Minneapolis. Donovan out to Farmer. Dribble drive is shut down now. Walter back to Donovan. Stolen by Alex Yox on this. Thought it would be an easy layup. In he goes. It's good. Hecker had the ball stolen from him by the power forward. Minneapolis. Walter with the ball on the right. Macy has it as they could not handle it. Layup good. Josh Macy with a nice layup there as he shielded the ball with his body as Walter flew right by him as he tried to block the shot. Seven to zero. And we've tightened up the defense here just a little bit. Donovan almost another five second call. Long shot from the outside. Donovan just creams Josh Macy down on the low block. 21 with the foul. Nace, Mortimer, and Johnson come in for Allison, Andrew Yoxel, and let's see who the third one was. It just wouldn't hurt to give Big Red, a uh, little rest on that knee, that's for sure. Alex Johnson now down low, Nace inside to Alex Yoxel. Mortimer with the rebound, stick back is no good. Alex Yoxel has the rebound and stick back. Nice job, Alex Yoxel, horsing the boards down there. Mason. Mortimer on the other side. Walter on the right wing, tipped away by Yoxel. Will he get another layup? Tried, Walter right there, hacked him. Kind of did a backward scoop. On Came the way. close <laughs> to coming in, but not quite. <laughs> we got a, got a grin out of Alex on that one as he tried the scoop shot, but fouled by Walter. That's Walter's second personal foul. And Alex Yoxel to the free throw line to shoot two here. First one up and good. <clears throat> Rattles it in. Josh M Macy back in, and Darrow gets a breather. So Yoxel, the only starter, still on the floor, and he's fixing to be replaced here shortly. Free throw, good. Nace out, Allison back in, along with John Kelly in for Minneapolis. It's like everybody's going to get plenty of playing time here tonight, doesn't it, Dale? I would hope so. <laughs> Reed Brock and Briggs are going to get to come in. 11 nothing. He drug that foot a little bit, didn't he, Ethan? 
Keating had the call. Shot off the glass, no good. Allison, 6'4", ought to have that board every time, hadn't he? Yep. Now Alex Johnson on the baseline. Macy out front, Mortimer now with the ball. Skip pass down low to Kelly, shot good. John Kelly down on the low block. And a timeout taken again by Russell. Coach wants a full timeout. We'll take one, two, 13 nothing. Minneapolis off to a little slow stop start, but now they're gaining momentum now, Dale. 13 nothing. We'll be back after this timeout. 3.33 to go in the first quarter. There are careers in high demand that offer high pay. Learn the skills you need to receive top pay in programs like machine tool technology, welding, or HVAC at Salina Area Technical College. Life's a trip. Get directions and log on to salinatech.edu today. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to central Kansas and will continue this tradition. This fast track will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Races start this spring at Minneapolis Raceway, and they say go Lions. Welcome back to Hoysington, Kansas for quarterfinal action of the Minneapolis Lions taking on the Russell Broncos. Up 13 to zero. Broncos play it in. Minneapolis gonna pick them up man to man, full court. Hecker with the ball gets it down low. As Haunts in, long shot by Hecker, no good. Tried to save it over there as Towery. He's 6'6", and a junior, he's in there. He's pretty tall, drink of water. In the contest. And Minneapolis changes out again, and now it's Allison Johnson Yoxel, Darrow, and Alex Yoxel. Joe Bowden back in, a starter. Number 24 is Haunts. He's in there, along with the 6'6 junior, Towery. Alex Yoxel has the ball tipped out of bounds by Hecker. 6'2 and a senior. It doesn't look like they have much help in the future, Dale. Nope. Johnson out front, running the point. Gets stopped to Darrow on the right wing. Swing pass to Alex Johnson. Now the other side, Darrow has a look. 2-3 zone by Russell. Ball thrown inside, tipped out of there by Towery. We threw it away. We had a guy on the wing. Looked tried inside. to force it inside. Now out front, three-pointer on its way, no good. Haunts had an open look. Now Darrow on the move, one against three. Gets it off to Allison. Left-hand shot by Andrew Yoxel, no good. Now Darrow all alone. Got his rebound. Will not pull the trigger. Allison in tight. Now Darrow will take it from the outside, good. Three point shot by John Michael. Left wing, it's good. 16 nothing, Minneapolis. Nice double team there by Alex Yoxel. Now he gets it off to Brother Andrew. And, oh my goodness, <laughs> Allison, Allison just mugged Towery. He got away with it. They recovered fast as we thought we might have an easy basket there. Now Hecker out front goes right through the legs of Rourke, number 23. Donovan back in replacing Rourke. Josh Macy back in replacing Alex Yoxel. Two three zone. Coach Shoop directing traffic. Jump shot by John Michael, no good off the back of the rim. Andrew Yoxel collects that rebound for Minneapolis. 
Good to see us get an offensive rebound. Now in the middle, Yoxel loses his balance a little bit there. Like a pinball machine out there. And Macy ended up with it on the floor and traveling is the call. Lions are bouncing off the Broncos everywhere. The ball goes boing, boing, boing. 16 nothing. Minute 12 left first quarter. Farmer with the ball. Crossover dribble, loses it, gets it off to Darrow. And he is fouled by Farmer as Yoxel had a nice steal out there, led Darrow all the way down to the basket. Two shot foul, Farmer's first personal foul. That's the fourth team foul on Russell in Minneapolis without a foul here in the first quarter, Dale. Haven't had to. Didn't really need to. Free throw good. <coughs> Don Michael had pretty good luck with the free. They always have a free throw shooting contest for the game, and he looked like he knocked them down. That one's in and out, though. Donovan has it stolen away by Allison. Good hands by Zach. Alex Johnson, jump shot, back ram, no good. And Haunts has the rebound for Russell. Farmer has it now, has a double team, and Yoxel up, good. Jumped off that left leg there, it looked pretty strong, Dale. Yep, 35 seconds, 19 to zero, Minneapolis. Another steal by John Michael, and he leaves a little skin on the floor. Russell on the move, trying to get a shot off. Bowden has the ball. Offensive Throws foul. the elbow out there, and Macy, good position. That arm flew out, and that's automatic, isn't it, Dale? Yep. Well, usually. <sighs> Unless Last Friday it wasn't. <laughs> I thought I might get a comment out of you. 21 and, a half, 21 and a half seconds to go in the quarter. Lines up 19 to zero. Coach Shoup wants one certain play ran. Darrow with the walking dribble, 15 to shoot. Now 10. Jump shot by Darrow, no good. Donovan has the rebound. We get a good look. Shot we just could not drop. We haven't been able to, to master these close out the quarters and score here <laughs> much this year, have we? 19 to nothing, Minneapolis with a nice lead. We'll be back with second quarter action here in just a minute. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wall will help you get your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. We'd also like to thank Kenny Hendricks, who's providing <laughs> us with Century Scorebooks uh, as every year for several years now. We really appreciate it. it allows us to help keep the stats flowing and going here for our broadcasts of these Lions games. If you need a scorebook for any of your games you might be coaching, call Kenny Hendricks with Century Scorebooks at 392-0058. Well, we're back. Somebody answer their phone. <laughs> Possession arrow favors Minneapolis to start the second quarter here. Darrow with the ball. Man-to-man -man defense by Russell. Gets a ball screen by Yoxel. And a stoppage in the action. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Six blue shirts on the floor. Oh, that's probably a technical foul. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. We were going five against six there. I don't there. know that I've ever seen that. They're going to. In basketball. That'll be a T on the I've coach, of course. 12 men on the field football a few times. But, uh. Well, Ethan, what do you think? You ever seen that? 
five against six. I think I have one time. Have you? If I believe, or if I remember right, I think it was at the Hoyt. Darrow makes the first. It's a two-shot technical foul on the bench. Second one is up and in also. We'll get the ball. Kind of a strange event there, but when you count them up, they had an extra. 21 nothing. So Minneapolis uh, defense a little bit stifling right now, Dale. Yes, we've had several steals. Plus good defense. Which guy was trying to guard two there? That's what I want to know. I guess we had the ball. Yeah, we were getting double teamed and didn't know why. We play it in. 7.47 left. Darrow looks at a three, passes it up, gets it off to Josh Macy. Alex Johnson has the ball stolen by Hecker. Dribble drive by Russell. Long shot by Farmer, no good. Excuse me, that's not Farmer. New player in there, number 13 is, I don't have him. I Alex Russell, a nice rebound. John Darrow's layup is off. I don't have a number 13. We'll call him Hoke. Russell with the rebound. Donovan out front, long shot by Hecker, no good. And a foul on Macy. Josh Macy. Andrew Yoxel and Zach Allison come in for Alex and John Kelly. Russell with the ball. They drive the basket. Oh, Zach nice, Allison steals nice it steal away. by Zach as Hecker tried to drive the baseline. Now Darrow drops it off to Josh Macy. Long shot by John Michael off the front of the rim, no good. And Walter back in playing with two personal fouls for Russell. Hope with the ball. Nice stutter step, gets it off to Walter on the right wing, is fouled by Zach Allison. Way out on the floor. First personal, second team foul. Hecker at five. Let's play it in. Out front it goes to Walter. Traveled. That's kind of what that girl was doing earlier, Dale. That kind of a shuffle step before they start. And Walter whistled with the infraction. And there's another one right there. As Alex Johnson does, returns the favor. Gage Mortimer comes in for Alex. Alex is gonna be an important part of this puzzle once we get it all put together. He's still in the, still in the making. Donovan has trouble. Nice steal by Yoxel, but Mortimer can't handle it. Donovan with a shot off the glass, no good, and he is fouled. Can they score from the free throw line? It's 21-0 right now, 6-0-2 left in the second quarter. Donovan's first three throw, no good. Alex Yoxel back in the contest. Gage Mortimer sits down. No good. Missed them both. Macy on the left wing, dribble driving in the paint, dumps it out to Alex Yoxel. And Walter is whistled with his third foul. They didn't get him out soon enough. Donovan goes out. Towery comes back in. Walter will have a seat with three personal fouls. I thought he might be 
a little effective, but he's not done well at all. Actually, no one has on the Russell team. 21 nothing, Minneapolis with a real easy lead here. The Oxel, the kick by Hecker, and the ball goes out of bounds. We'll play it in, Andrew Yoxel to trigger the play. 2-3 zone by the Broncos. Left wing Josh Macy, entry pass to Allison. Back to Andrew Yoxel and he loses it. Hecker picks up the loose ball. Kind of wish he'd just go ahead and take that shot, Dale. Yep, been a little too unselfish there. Farmer with the ball. Little push off there by Bowden. He's been called for it once already today. Long shot by Hecker, no good. And Towery runs down the rebound in the corner. Now Bowden. Hecker. Dribble drive by Hecker, gets it out. And that's a charging foul on Hecker as Alex Johnson. Alex, Alex Joxel or took Joxel, it in the chin me. there pretty good with the elbow, I think. Stays his ground and takes the charge. Gage Mortimer and John Kelly come in for Josh Macy and Zach Allison. That's Hecker's first foul. Seventh team foul, so we're in the one on one now. Andrew Yoxel, jump shot from the baseline, good. That mid-range jumper of his is a good looking shot and that was nothing but net there. Hecker tries a between the legs dribble and Yoxel right there with the defense. Towery, oh, he walks. big guy puts the ball on the floor. Farmer way out front, it goes to Rourke. Now Hecker comes to get it and then the Russell coach calls a timeout as they try to get organized a little bit on the offensive end. Minneapolis with some stifling defense. Ethan, that, uh, not too bad a defense so far by Minneapolis. Yeah, this makes me want to think what their next game with them is going to be like. Yeah, it, we could get well with them a couple more times this year. Uh, this is the first of probably two more times we'll play them, won't we? Yeah, this is kind of surprising. I'm expecting a little bit of a harder game out here. Well, the girls will be real hard, won't they? Yeah. That Bigley girl at 5'11", they got a couple of girls that are pretty tall, but they're... Bigley's 5'11", Rourke's 5'10". They were tough last year. They and got a sophomore, Schulte, at 5'10". They'll be a little bit to handle. They'll be hard to handle. Well, they we're down here at Hoisington. This is the Hoisington midseason winter jam. It's a nice tournament to come to. It's a little bit of a drive, but uh, once you get here, you, you got good food and a uh, nice facility for sure. We're playing uh, about eight deep, <coughs> maybe nine. Everyone probably will play here tonight. Russell to play it in after that timeout. Into the back court it goes to Farmer, guarded by Darrow. Little bit of a push off. Darrow or Farmer loses it on good pressure defense by John Michael. They do lack some guard play, don't they, Dale? Mm -hmm. Down the short post, Alex Yoxel has balls swiped out of there by Hecker. Now they skip past the opposite side and they recover as John Michael had an open look. Johnson has is tied, tied up. up by Farmer as he drove into the paint. Farmer right there with a hand on the ball. Possession arrow to Russell. Rourke to play it in. Oh, we know that name from Russell, don't we? Yeah, I think his sister isn't too bad of a player. 
Well, we about had the steal over there, and if we would have, Alex Yoxel was all the way down the court for a freebie. They play it in. Hecker, dribble drive back out front. It goes to Farmer. Entry pass to Rourke. And Alex Yoxel is going to be whistled with a reach in foul. That's his first. Macy back in, along with Zach Allison. So we have Mortimer, Johnson, Yoxel, Allison, and Macy. Farmer out front. Good anticipation by Alex Yoxel. Tips that ball out of there. Alex thought he was just going to get a hand on it, but he got more than that. As the pass went, he jumped the passing lane there. That was an easy tip away. Good hustle defense, stifling to the Russell Broncos right now, unable to do anything with Minneapolis man-to-man -man defense. And they throw it away. Another turnover for Russell. Gage Mortimer, baseline drive, double team down low. Now Alex Yoxel up and under is fouled by Towery. Excuse me, they call the foul on Haunts. Alex Yoxel at the free throw line shoots two. Back rim, no good. Andrew's going to check in, but he's coming in for the shooter. His brother, Alex, free throw, no good. Yeah, Allison okay. with a good rebound. Oh, my. No foul. No foul. Goodness. Ball nice is away from him. nice work on the offensive glass. Zach had a big rebound. Stick back. He had three arms on his one. There you go. And now we get him on the back side on a nice pass. Zach got the position, had the defender on his hip, and the inbounds pass goes right to him. Easy basket. 25 nothing. Honks. Baseline drive. Back out front. Long shot. Rimming off. Towery trying to get that rebound over the top of Allison, but can't. Right through the hands and out of bounds. And the ball goes right back to Russell. 25 nothing. First half. Hecker in the back court guarded by Johnson. Pass down low. Now the entry pass to Haunts. He's double teamed nicely. Good help defense by Allison. Johnson almost gets a steal, but fouls in the process. Eight, no, fifteen foul. Fifteen foul. Bowden will play it in for Russell. Hecker with the ball gets it down to Haunts. Jump shot. Back iron. Back Bounces iron up, up the top of the backboard. Out of bounds. Twenty-five to zero. Two thirteen to go. I don't think I've ever seen this either. Minneapolis with the ball, 2-3 zone. Allison gets hammered. Now Johnson baseline shot, good. Two-point two shot just inside the arc. Alex Johnson with a nice look from the baseline. Hecker runs right over the top of Josh Macy as Josh was stationary right in the paint. That one looked like that hurt a little bit. Nice job by Josh to take the foul, take the charge. 153 remaining in the half. 27-0 Lions. Are we looking at a 30 to nothing halftime score here, Dale? I'd like it. <laughs> AC climbs the ladder on that pass from Johnson. Now dribble drive by Darrow out front. Johnson 
Josh Macy, short post to Allison. Ooh, almost a carry. Now in the lane, Macy, oh my. There's had a Shot great pass. Blocked. Sure looked like he might have been hacked on the play, but no call. Got to look fast out front to Alex Johnson. Dribble drive gets it off to Andrew Yoxel. Good shoot over the top of Haunts. Zach back to John Michael. One hand runner will roll in. One hand runner by Darrow rolls in on the back of the rim. It was laying on there for quite a while. Out front Farmer gets it off to Donovan. Donovan looks for a cutter. Has the ball stripped by Andrew Yoxel. And we chase it down in the forecourt. Pass to Darrow, almost intercepted. Coach Shoup wants one shot with 35 to play here in the first half. 29 nothing. Well, Ethan, you ever seen a shutout? Well, they're pitching one right here. 29 nothing shutout here in the first half. Now 12 to shoot. See who's going to get the last second shot. It's going to be Oxel. It's good. Hands a three. That works for me as Darrow draws the defense and he dumps it off on the wing to Andrew Yoxel and it's a three pointer at the buzzer. Minneapolis pitching a shutout here in the first half. 32 to nothing and we'll be back with point totals from Ethan and uh, a few words from Dale here in just a minute. Amazing. Excuse us, I think we had some dead air there. I thought we had something going, but we didn't. So you've been listening to nothing but dead air. Anybody on the internet or channel two, we apologize. Uh, Dale Leach and Mike Perry and Alex and uh, Mr. Keating getting ready to sign back on here for the second half of the boys game versus the Russell Broncos. So far, it's been uh, quite a walk in the park for the guys as they lead 32 to zero and I, I don't think I've ever seen uh, in any any type of a basketball game on any level uh, a team go scoreless in a half. I might be wrong there, but uh, this very well might be a first for me, Mike. I can't remember. I remember a team going scoreless in the first quarter. Yeah, but in not quarters, for the not, whole half. Not for the whole half. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mr. Keating, you Ethan Keating, you have some uh, stats for us. Yeah, I do. Um, for first half, we got number three, Andrew, Andrew Yoxel with a total of seven points. John Darrow, number five, with a total of 13 points in the first half. Um, Alex Johnson, number 10, for two points. Um, Alex Yoxel, number 36 points. Zach Allison, number two points, number 32. Um, Josh Macy, number two with two points, and John Kelly, 33, for two points. Good, good scoring, uh, a lot of different people. And with Russell, zero. That, you got side one hard to keep, was it? Russell? What? The total points for Russell? Yeah, <laughs> that was hard to count. <laughs> How many free throw opportunities did they have that they missed? Looks like just one. Only two? Or just two. Unless I missed one. Oh yeah, yeah just, two. just a couple. I couldn't remember if there's another one or not. But uh, So we get ready to go here in third quarter action of this quarterfinal game. Well, let me take this minute. Uh, we have mentioned this before, but Kenny Hendricks and the Century Scorebooks at 785-392-0058. That's 392-2-ball-58. With the Century Scorebooks, Kenny furnishes those for us, and if you need a scorebook, get a hold of Kenny, and he will furnish you with the best scorebook that you can possibly find. 
in these parts of the woods. We're getting ready to start again here, 30 seconds before we get going again here. Uh, Dale, how can we uh, improve on this, do you think? Well, we need a better offensive flow. You know, we're up 32 to zero. I've just been amazed at uh, the lack of a flow on the offensive side against the zone. So we'll see if we can get that sharpened up somewhat. Chris. You know, can't ask for anything better on defense, I don't think. We have run a lot of guys in and out, and maybe that might disrupt the flow a little bit. But uh, continuity is something when you you're playing together. But uh, Minneapolis playing five, six, seven, eight, nine nine or ten players here in the first half so possession arrow to favor of Minneapolis here to start the second half Alex Yoxel to trigger in the inbounds play so it's Yoxel, Yoxel, Darrow, Macy and Allison as we started the game man-to-man -man defense now by Russell Jump down pass to Alex Yoxel. Gets it out front. Darrow back to Andrew Yoxel. Three-pointer on its way. No good. Zach Allison with the good offensive rebound. Darrow cranks up another one. It's good. Three ball. Farmer in the backcourt. Left-hand dribble. Clears the timeline for the Broncos. Bowden lowers his shoulder. Gets it off to Walter. He played sparingly in the first half, collected his third personal foul in the second quarter, and that's Allison over the back. It'll be his first personal foul, I believe, maybe his second, I, I'm thinking. It is his second foul. Nice. Hecker. Into the game for Allison. Hecker to play it in. Nace replaces Allison. Walter guarded by Nace uh, char draws a charge. Alex kind of took the brunt of that thing as Walter is pretty well put together feller. Ran into Nace. Nace didn't budge too much. Seven minutes left, third quarter. Dribble drive by Yoxel. Long three-pointer on its way. Almost tipped in by Alex Yoxel as Darrow's Three-point shot just missed. Walter on the back side, and we can test everything tonight. Walter gets all the way to the rim, and he is fouled. They're going to give that foul to Alex Oxel. Walter to the free throw line to shoot two, and a good chance here for the Broncos to get on the board. Free throw on its way, no good. Alex Johnson into the contest. Andrew will sit down, nursing a little bit of a sore knee, a little bit of a sore ankle on the other side, about 85%. Walter's second throw on its way. They good. score! It's the 651 mark of the third quarter. It took a while, but they're on the board. 35 to one, Johnson's hat. Drives into the defender and is has a shot blocked, actually. Nace picks up the loose ball and is fouled. Walter has four fouls. Darrow with the ball on the right wing. Now Alex Yoxel dribble drive. Walter will have to watch it. Walter used to be a heavier individual. He's grown up and slimmed down. Alex, one hand runner off the glass, no good. Nace is hacked on the offensive rebound. And Walter comes out of there in the outlet pass to Hecker. Hecker guarded by Johnson, shot off the glass, no good. But he will go to the free throw line to shoot two. The foul is on Johnson. Hecker will shoot two. 6-2 senior makes the first one.
second throw on its way, no good. Back iron. And Johnson has the rebound. Darrow, shot rolls in. Just a little bit above the free throw line, stops and pops. And it's in, 37 to two. Minneapolis with the lead. Nice overplay by Josh Macy. Nice behind the back dribble. Tries to get a shot off, one against two, and is hacked. Gets his own rebound, then fouled again. Coach is telling you, you need to, you need to look for a teammate, Josh. Yeah, that's exactly right. But he is fouled on the rebound. Three team fouls now for the Broncos. Hecker with the reach in foul. Darrow to play it in. Johnson on the baseline out front to Macy. Skip pass to Alex Johnson, back to Darrow. In the paint he goes, scoop shot, no good. And Farmer on the backside has the rebound. A little bit of a push off there, Dale. Just a <laughs> tad. Haunts with the ball. Gets it off the hook. Haunts again, down the lane he goes. Loses the handle. Allison right there, they get it all the way in. Darrow takes his time to get to the basket and they tip it away. Gage Mortar and Andrew, Andrew Yarks will come in for Johnson and Mace. You're up 37 to two. Might want to rest that leg, um, Big Red. Well, he did for a while. Mortimer into Allison. You don't want it to get stiff either, do you, Mike? Darrow passes up the shot. Back to Darrow. Jump shot. Good. Two-point shot just inside the arc. 39-2. Hoke in the backcourt. Has the ball stolen away by Andrew Yoxel as he tries to bounce pass into Farmer. It will be Bronco's ball to play in. Towie, 6'6", six, six junior, in there, and he is 6'6". Six, six. Now he has it on the wing, gets it off to Haunts. Baseline jump shot, back iron. No good. Macy on the move, hands it off to Darrow. Pass to Yoxel. Now Allison, little baby hook up and in over Towie. 41 to 2, four minutes to go in the third quarter. Farmer with the ball. Back in the corner off the hand of Honks and out of bounds. Kelly and Johnson back into the contest. Forty-one to two. Now, Dale, will they have a continuous running clock no, after forty? That's just not league. in tournaments. That's just league. I thought it might be a gentleman's. Well, let's agree to an advance agreement. That's a walk. Macy pulled his pivot. I. You know, I just don't remember if that was instituted statewide or not. I thought it might be a Kansas State High School. Johnson gets beat by Farmer, tries to slow him down, but Farmer gets right on around him. Nice bounce pass down low, shot off the glass, no good. Towery has the rebound and is fouled. I know they instituted some kind of rule like that in football this year, but I'm not sure if they did it in basketball or not. Two shot free throw coming up, fourth team foul, first on Kelly. Towery, a left-hander, eyes the basket, shot up and good. Three points all on free throws so far in the game for Russell. 
321 left third quarter. Minneapolis out to a safe 38-point lead. Towery, T-O-W-E-R-Y, free throw good. Oh, rim in and out. In and out. Used all the rim on that one, and it came out. One for two from the free throw line. Gage Mortimer with the ball left wing. Dribble drive down to the paint. Shot no good. Allison has it, tips it out to Mortimer, and we reset. Ball screen for Josh Macy, jump shot no good. Tip try no good by Allison, and the ball comes right off and out to Bowden for Russell and way over the top to Hacker. Gets a hand on it, cannot recover. 2.50 left, third quarter. 49 to three. 41 to three. Excuse me, what did I say? 49. 41 to three. I was thinking about Skyler. We want Skyler. We want Skyler. There's a nice shot by Zach Allison on the low block. Shot is up and in. And we have a 40 point lead. Nice steal by Josh Macy. And he is fouled by Farmer. Fourth team foul. No free throws. Each team with four fouls. Darrow and uh, Alex Shocks will come in the game. 2.23 left, third quarter. Out front it goes. Johnson with it. In the paint he goes. Shot up, rimming out. Almost gets the rebound on his backside. Darrow shot way off the glass, no good. And he gets the carom from that shot way out. Now Alex Johnson baseline shot, back rim, no good. Allison has it, but he is hacked by Hecker. Good offensive rebound, nice work by the Lions. Had a couple of really good open looks. Allison goes to the free throw line to shoot two. That's a fourth personal foul on Hecker. Zach's free throw, good. Fifth team foul on the Broncos. Two oh one left third quarter. Second throw, front rim, no good. And Rourke has the board for Russell. Hecker comes to get it. Guarded by Darrow. Spin move. Gets it down low to Honks. Back to Hecker. Honks has an open look. Shot on its way. Hits the pipe. Stander. It's holding the backboard. It bounced straight up off the back iron. It's Minneapolis ball. That's considered out of bounds. And that's the call. Minneapolis back with the ball here. Close out the third quarter. We'll see if they run clock. Darrow in the paint. Now Alex Oxel baseline drive has Locked. the ball stuffed. Tries to get the ball up on a double team by Towery and Hecker. Haunts, catch and shoot. Over the rim, no good, and Allison right there to rip that rebound down out from in front of the 6'6 Towery. Darrow off to Yoxel, three-pointer, front iron. Gets his own re rebound off the glass, no good. Now Allison. Zach Allison with the stick back. It's good. 46 and to three. 40 seconds in the third. He hasn't let up off the gas pedal yet. Macy in for Alex Jackson. Uh, he's limping a little bit, isn't he, Dale? <laughs> Who? Andrew. Uh, I didn't see. Wasn't watching. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Looks like we're going to play for one. 20 to shoot. Andrew or 
Alex Johnson with the ball. Guarded by Bowden. Macy off to Darrow. 10 to shoot. Alex Johnson out front. Allison, four seconds. He gets it off, but misses as Hecker was all over him. Not a good look to end the quarter, but not in that need of points. Minneapolis leads 46 to three here against the Russell Broncos. We'll be back to finish this one out in just a minute. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, happy to be a Minneapolis Lions backer. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs and loans, online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Fourth quarter action now. The line's up 46 to 3. Now we got the cleanup crew in here. We've got a whole new five in there. John Kelly, Connor Nace, Gage Mortimer, Skylar Reeprock, and Colin. No, it's Gant Martin, is it? Isn't it? Pardon? Is that Gant Martin? 13. Oh, Colin Briggs is in there, yeah. Yeah, Colin Briggs. That's Reet Rock. Oh, okay. That is Skylar Reet Rock, number 13. Yep, excuse me. Gage Mortimer, 14. Kelly, 44. We have a timeout, Minneapolis. Colin Briggs. And it looks like we've got a quick timeout taken. We'll take one, too. Just underway here in the fourth quarter, Minneapolis leading 46 to three. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions, we're with you all the way. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans, IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans, IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Hecker to play it in, it gets it into Walter. Donovan back to Hecker, three point shot on its way, rimming off. They tip it right out to Gage Mortimer. And Minneapolis has the ball. Down low, John Kelly. Nice move by John Kelly as Hecker had to back off. He's playing with four fouls now. Steal by Mortimer. Tipped out of bounds, though it will be Russell Ball. 48 to 3. Minneapolis still applying some pressure. Get it down the court to Farmer, dribble drive in the paint, shot no good, and he is fouled, I think, by John Kelly. No. It is a running clock. 44, that would be Nace. Thanks, Dale. I, for some reason, I thought it was Kansas High School rules, but I'm uh, not really familiar with them as much as I used to be. Free throw, no good. Back arm, Farmer. Six fifteen left fourth quarter. He missed them both. Oh, that one rimmed in. Bounced straight up and down. And Russell has four points. Reet Brock tries a pass over the top. Corralled instantly. They get it to the big guy. He goes to the hoop. It's blocked by Kelly. And Kelly fouls him. 
so Donovan to the free throw line. Foul is, like Dale mentioned, on our man Kelly. And we do have a running clock as we've got a substantial lead. Free throw rimming off by Donovan. Looks like a right tackle to me, don't you, Dale? Yes. Uh -huh. Big fella. Second throw on its way. Missed them both. Hecker got up there like, and he's going to tip it in, actually. Tipped it out of bounds. Five minutes to go. 48 to 4, Minneapolis. Oh, real close to backcourt there. <laughs> Skip pass to Mortimer. Brock has it tipped away from him, out of bounds. Farmer tips it out of there. Minneapolis play it in. Briggs loses it. Briggs tries to get between two defenders. Nace has that rebound for Minneapolis. And Russell cannot buy a Brock, uh, cannot buy a bucket yet. We need to pass it to it the wing instead now. of trying to dribble. Nope. No. Reed Brock with the rebound. Nice big defensive rebound by Skyler Reeprock. The outlet pass is tipped out of there by Hecker. Macy comes in for Briggs. And Coach Shoup doing a little coaching there as he's pointing out the passing lanes on the wings as they're trying to double team. And they're doing a good job of it. Mortimer comes to rescue that one. They started this Half-court trap, a little late, Dale. Yep. Macy, nice dribble drive into the paint. Jump shot up and in. 50 to 4. 3.40 to go. Farmer in the backcourt. Clears the timeline, gets it off to Bowden. Guarded by Reetrock. Baseline jump shot by Hecker <coughs> in and out, no good. Incredible. Have they had a, they haven't had a, field goal no, yet, have they? No. If I was a Bronco fan and I had any hair, I'd be pulling it out. <laughs> but I'm neither. Timeout. That'll stop the clock. No? No, just for substitution. Three minutes left in the contest, running clock. Reap Rock to play it in for Minneapolis. Reap Rock, Mortimer, Colin Briggs, Nace, and John Kelly. Get it in, Gage Mortimer with the ball on the left wing. Picks up his dribble. Out front it goes Colin Briggs. Nice, nice entry pass to Kelly off the glass, no good. And Walter has the big board. Briggs has the foul. Uh, will not be a one and one yet. Yes, it should be. That was the seventh team foul on the Lions. Yes, they recognize the shooting solution. Walter to the free throw line here. Two minutes left in this contest. Walter with a chance to score. He missed earlier from the charity stripe. Honks back in and Hecker will go out. Minute 45, we have a running clock here in the fourth quarter, 50 to four. Free throw, good. Well, if you would have told me we'd have held them to no field goals in this game, I would have, there's well, another free throw though by not over Walter. Yet. <laughs> One third, 25 to go. Ball goes through the hands of Mortimer, but he rescues the ball. Entry pass to Kelly. He can't hang on to it. Honks with the ball. He kicks it out of bounds. One minute. Good job by Colin Briggs that time. Nice pass, Briggs. Backside on a pass from Nace. Nace saw the open teammate over there and 
Briggs with a nice bank shot off the glass. Haunts with the ball now for Russell. Good double team by Reet Brock and Mortimer, and he bounces the ball off the leg of Minneapolis defender. 30 seconds left in this contest. They play it in. Way out front to Walter. Back to Haunts. Jump shot from the outside, air ball. Nace. Wow, <laughs> I was going to say. Connor Nace with a big rebound, and the, whoever it was on the back side just mugged him. Sixth team foul, so no free throws. Down to eight seconds. Time the referee gets done driving the ball, the game will be over. It was Clayton Mowbray draped all over the backside. And that's the way it's going to end. Nice defensive effort by Minneapolis to limit Russell to six points, all free throws, mind you. So Minneapolis will play on Friday. They'll get, they'll get the winner. We will play Friday at 4.45 p.m. against the winner of the Otis Bison and Ellsworth game that will be played tonight at 8.15. Otis Bison is the four seed at the four and two record. Ellsworth's the five seed with the three and three record. This game is of historic proportions. I don't know where it exactly fits in, but uh, it's been a long time, I'm sure, since a Minneapolis opponent has scored just six points. And no outside, no field no goals, free field goals. whatsoever. Well, with uh, with that, we will take a little break while Ethan Keating tabulates the scores. And we'll be back with those and maybe an interview with Coach Shoup. We shall see. Okay, welcome back to Hoisington. Ready for a little wrap up here? We have some point totals, Ethan. You're gonna ring, call them off for us, would you? All right, for total, number three, Andrew Yoxel didn't score any in the second half, but he did score seven in the first half. Number five, John Darrow scored 13 in the first half, seven in the second, which equals about 20. Uh, Alex Johnson, number 10, scored two in the first half, and that was it. Uh, Alex Yoxel, number 30, scored six in the first half, nothing in the second half. Zach Allison, 32, uh, scored two in the first half and seven in the second half, which is nine. Uh, Josh Macy scored two in the first half, two in the second half, equals four in total. John Kelly, 33, scored two in the first half, two in the second half, four. Colin Briggs, 12, scored two in the second half, and that equals up for our Minneapolis Lions. For our Russell Broncos, we got for Farmer, one in the second half, or one. Uh, number five, Hecker, one in the second half. 21, uh, Donovan got zero in the second half. Walker, 22, got three in the second half. And Towery, 33 got one in the second half. So that their high point scorer was Walter on huh, with three. Yep. And they were all off free throw shots. Yeah, all free throws and no field goals. Uh, I still don't ever remember seeing a game like that, Dale. Uh, that's the first for me, I'm quite sure. Uh, one team scores no field goals in the entire game and uh, zero points in the first half. That's uh, pretty amazing stuff. We'll have to see how the second and third games go. Making well, history here. Yeah, I think we're going to have a coach, an interview with Coach Shoup here in a second. Ethan, if you want to give up your headset, we appreciate you doing stats for us. No problem. Thank you guys for letting Thank me. Thank you. Well, thanks for helping us out. It. No problem. Gosh, Coach, uh, I didn't know it was going to be that easy, but uh, guys played pretty good defense out yeah. there. That Russell didn't have a lot to offer, but still, you have to clamp down on them, and we did. We didn't allow a field goal all night long. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the main thing. It, it's hard to tell. You know, Russell's struggling, and 
you know, they were one and nine coming in, so you know. But uh, the thing was, and I told our coaches and I told our kids, we played hard. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of the score or the outcome, that's the first time all year we played hard. And even at the beginning of the game when we missed some easy shots again and did those things, we kept playing hard on defense and we were able to get some more easy shots because of it. So, you know, the main thing for us, that was good. We needed to do that. We haven't really done that all year. And uh, we need to continue to do that now. I mean, that's the big thing. Now, the defense, especially in the first half, was just fantastic. Mm -hmm. We were really filling the passing lanes and, mm -hmm. and uh, getting our hands on the ball and getting yeah. possession several times. And, uh, you know, I, I, Mike, is, I think you're – probably a little more complimentary than you should have been about keeping the Broncos from scoring a field goal. I, they had several good shots. They just couldn't, didn't fall for them. Uh, you yeah. know, I'd sometimes when things are going bad for you, they just don't get yeah. good. Yeah. But uh, pretty pretty amazing stuff. Well, you okay. could tell they didn't have the shooters, so it was going to be difficult for them to score anyway. And yeah. I just thought we played tough inside and uh, rebounded well. And mm -hmm. Zach had... Uh, Got kind of tough in there on some rebounds, which I'm glad yeah. to see, and ripped a couple out of there. And Ace had a couple of tough rebounds yep. down there, too. So, Well, we played more kids, and we just talked about, you know, hey, we're going to play kids that play hard on defense, you know, because we just felt like we hadn't done that. I told the kids after the game, I said, I don't know whether to be happy with you or really mad at you because, you know, this is 10 games in or whatever now, and finally you played hard. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, and, and not to say we haven't played hard at all this season, but – you know, we haven't had any games up to this point where we really just gave a consistent effort all the way through, and this is as close to that as we've had, and that's good. You know, you need to start sometime, and so hopefully we'll continue to do that. The only fault I might have seen in the squad, especially in the first half, was just kind of a lack of consistency on the offensive flow, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but, uh, I thought, uh, you know, they went to a zone, and uh, we stood a little too much. We didn't move the ball. I thought we did a much better job coming out in the second half against their zone and moving the ball and uh, knowing what we were looking for. And that was important because teams are going to run you zone a lot of times if for no other reason to change the tempo of the game. And mm -hmm. you don't want to let them dictate that to yeah. you. So I thought it got better as the game went on. Yeah, we had attacked the zone pretty well, I thought. Uh, yeah. it had good ball movement and the re re reversal was good. We had a shot if we wanted it and uh, yep. we uh, were trying to create a little something and we did well. Got the yep. free throw line and uh, I thought it was a pretty easy game. Uh, I had no idea it was going to be this easy. Well, but hey, I didn't either. To tell you the yeah. honest truth and uh, you know, when it's all said and done, I'm pleased for the kids because sometimes you know you talk about it all the time and of course they hear it a lot. Um, about playing harder and, and so for them to come out and give that effort and, and get the results out of there hopefully that'll be some good positive reinforcement. Well you well. ran four or five in and mm -hmm. we were up 11 zip yeah. and I said I thought to myself well coach seen some tape and he knows this isn't going to be mm -hmm. that big of a deal and so you started playing a lot of kids and they all played well they played hard when they were in there and uh, uh, just a really solid defensive game all the way around I it thought. Was, it was. You know we hadn't been subbing as much because of offense and you know we just kind of made the decision as a staff what we need to do is we defense is what we're about we need to sub for defense and, and make that our focus and, and uh, you know I thought uh, it kept us fresher uh, you know we got John a little a few more breaks and I thought he had a much better effort on the defensive end we were able to give Andrew a little more rest and that helps you maintain your defensive integrity throughout the course of the game. And the kids that came in just played good defense. They rebounded. They didn't turn it over for the most part. And that's all you ask, you know, for those guys coming in off the bench. You get some shots out of them, that's even better. So. Mm -hmm. Has Zach had a consistent game on the defensive end? Uh, I thought he was moving his feet a lot better. A lot he was better. getting to the spot where he needed to be and yep. rebounding well and yep. kind of stayed out of uh, foul trouble and played a lot more minutes tonight. And yep. he's played in – yeah, quite he, a few games. And, and he's been playing hard. He hasn't always been playing smart. I thought, you know, he, he was a little more disciplined and played a little smarter tonight, and he continued to play hard like he had been. So, Well, congratulations Thanks. on the win. Thank always you good to oh, win, yeah. no matter what. You bet. Take care, and we'll see you Friday. Yep. For Ellsworth or Otis Bison. That's who the semi-final opponent will be, either the, the uh, Cougars of – Otis Bison or the Bearcats of Ellsworth who have been uh, 
playing some good basketball here the last few games and get, racking up some wins. So, uh, might be a little more of a challenge if, if that's who we end up facing. But, uh, it's one of my favorite little weaves the girls are doing. Boy, they, they look tough down there. The Russell girls, 5'10", 5'11". You look in the program, they've got they Bigley at 5'11", but uh, the girl beside her is an inch taller than she is, but she's at 5'10", so they're tall. They will be a very formidable opponent once we face them. Well, Dale, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. Minneapolis comes away with an easy 52-7 victory. Six. 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 Mm -hmm. No field goals allowed, just free throws. So tough defense and uh, did a good job on the defensive end. Again, the boys will play at 445 Friday against Otis Bison or Ellsworth. The girls will play at 3 o'clock on Thursday against either... Russell or lacrosse. I assume it will be lacrosse, but who knows? Uh, not sure about that game yet, but we will put it on our schedule somehow. Well, it's yeah, a it comes. three o'clock start for the girls and a 445 start for the boys. So we're out here in pretty good time. Yep. At, uh, we got some stuff to pack up, but uh, Dale, for the most part, uh, good defensive effort by the great, the boys. Great. The girls, I thought, need to intensify a little bit on the defensive end, and mm -hmm. uh, they'll have some coaching <laughs> in the next couple of days here as they get ready for their next contest. But, uh, Very good. Well, thanks for listening to us on Eagle Communications Channel Two and SalinaPost.com, uh, your source for Lions sports video replay on Eagle Communications Channel Twenty. With that, Dale Leach and and Mike Perry going to sign off, and uh, we'll be back with you again. Thanks for having us in your home as always. Good night. Good night, everybody.